All right, so Oscar, you played Prince John in Robin yeah. Hood, and and one of the things that you see him having, uh, uh, I guess, a challenge with is his responsibilities as a leader. Yeah. Do you think in in our world today, the, the, as do the leaders really take on what the people are saying as much as they should? Well, I mean, it is. It's always a difficult balance between the idea of all right, I'm the leader, and I need to do lead the people, and what the responsibility of a leader is. Is it to lead or is, always, is it always to listen and take the lead from the people? Right. And I think that's the big question of the movie at the time uh, uh, that this takes place. Is, um, you know, at the end I say, I didn't make myself king, God made me king. Right. right. You know, and it's less of a, and the way that we, Ridley and I talked about it, it was less of like a moment of grandeur and more about like, look, that's just the way it is. I mean, I didn't, I didn't make up the rules, you know? I'm the king, you know? And so I get to say what happens. And, and I think that you can make parallels to leaders very recently that had the feeling of like, look, you know, it's, it's me and God. And, you know, I'm going to do what I think is right, no matter how many, how much people are against it. Right, right. Taxation. Taxation. Milking a dry udder gets you nothing but kicked off the milking stool. Mother, spare me your farmyard memories. You have none, and I don't understand them. These are difficult times. We can buy time. We can send envoys to secure loans. There are money chests from Sicily to Normandy if you know where to look. The crown is owed money at home. The northern barons plead poverty, but that's always been the song of rich men. So what's to be done? Hmm? Give me leave, sire, to go north with a company of mounted men. I'll have the merchants and landowners fill your coffers, or their coffins. That's well said. Okay, now, now Robin Hood, the story has been told over and over with, with what, what about this, this tale of Robin Hood is different that the audience can expect? I think it's just like the, the approach was, uh, if this was really happening, you know, what was it like? What would happen? What would it look like? What would it sound like? How would people actually act? How did people act in this time? And so right. that, I feel like, took real precedence over anything else. Okay. Just the reality of the situation of what it was like to be in 12th century medieval England, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it was, it was kind of gruesome and stuff. I, I, yeah, it's hard. It it's like, like really hard living <laughs> back then. <laughs> so I mean, this is not your first time working with uh, Ridley Scott or Russell Crowe. I know that you co-starred in Body of Lies. This, yeah. As an actor, does it make does the familiarity of working with a, a director and a fellow cast member does it make it easier? Going oh yeah, into a project? yeah, because you you develop trust. You know, it's like all right, well, he trusts me enough to to cast me in a bigger role. He trusted me before, and, and there's so so you get confidence. You know, you feel like uh, free to try stuff, and that you're not gonna be like, oh, we made a mistake casting this guy. You know, right, right, right. I mean, that's always there a little bit, but yeah. you know, the fact that y- you can try stuff. So right, yeah. that that was really good. I know that you're highly acclaimed on on screen, but you're also a great actor in theater. And mm. people always talk about your roles in, in Romeo and Juliet. Mm. Um, the 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 question is often posed: Do do theater actors take that skill to the screen? But I want to reverse it. Do there's anything that you learn on screen that when you go back and play theater that you're able to put into your, to to theater? I I think yeah. There's a lot of that kind of back and forth. Um, you know, I think that it's it's similar to painting and sculpting. You know, you it's a different form, but you're kind of focusing on the same kind of ideas, which is creating something. You know, like creating a, you know, if it's a figure or whatever. Right. So, um, so yeah. So I think there's a lot of that kind of cross pollination between the two things. If there was anything specific from film to bring to theater, it is that um, oh, oh, that sense of never commenting on what you're doing. You know, sometimes in theater you get people that kind of comment on it, like they're in on the joke. Mm-hmm. You know. And and in film, you know, you, that that just doesn't ever work because you right. see it. You know, it's right. like the person can't be in on it. Right. And so sometimes uh, in theater, when I see that kind of thing happen, I I, I respond more to it. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time, Mr. Oscar. Thanks, we'll man. Keep on entertaining us. We'll keep on watching you. Cool, man. Thank All you right. very much. Thank you.